hey i'm back again another custom order um this one is a rustic red and brown um fall season autumn season um custom kit so i'm just gonna get down with the get down let me start with this um stuff over here um and sorry guys if you hear a lot of uh if you hear a lot of dog barking, that that's not my dog. My dogs are, they're good dogs. <laughs> well, they're very watchful, but they're good dogs. And our neighbor dogs, I don't know. She just barks at every, any and everything. So, anyway, it's a mess right now. A beautiful mess. Um, but I wanted to sort of start and jump right in as I piled it and organized it together. I've been adding a lot. Hang on one second, guys. Okay, I had to see if the um, light <clears throat> that I have is, is good enough for you guys. I'm not sure. I hope so. Um, feel free to comment. And let me just see if I can get you guys a little bit more aligned. Okay, so this kit was a rustic red and brown kit. Um, fall season, autumn season. I did throw a very, 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 very slight hint of Christmas in here. Just a little bit, not very much. Um and so yeah so this is what i've done i put together gosh where do i start let me start with this bowl because these little things like to run away and let's see i've got some tickets of course some fabric ribbon some buttons some more tickets and a brown vintage button with some fall season colored clips and gold yellow red um i think what did i put in here fall maybe because you guys know i'm really literal about this kind of stuff so there's fall spelled out in some um very vintage uh, anagrams. You see that? And I've got some beads. And more anagrams for 25. I should have put in the day of Hall or, um, Thanksgiving, but I didn't do that. Um, some rustic stamps, and these are vintage. These came out of that book. If you watch my videos, well, first of all, if this is your first time tuning in to my videos, hello and welcome, and thank you for stopping by. Um, feel free to leave comments, questions. My um, junk journaling kits are eclectic i use a lot of recycled stuff a lot of vintage stuff and anything i can get my hands on that's worth saving and salvaging and turning into art and so yeah um these came out of that i made a video a while ago not just specifically on this but a video um talking about and i think i have one of the pages over here an old stamp book that I bought and that's where these came from these are very old but this is a rustic brown and red kit for fall season this is not a real stamp that's cut out from an old life magazine and I put some of my usual yellow um, clothing tags in there I gotta stop eating guys before I make my videos because I just want to keep burping and burping. <laughs> yeah, my husband made Chinese food tonight, so yay, it was really good. Um, there's um, some coin tubes in rustic browns and reds and oranges and yellows, or oranges, um, reds and tan vintage. All right. And there's some uh, modern game pieces. She can alter those. A ticket. Um, I doubled up on that. 
and perhaps these let's see which ones I go through my stockpile guys and then I go through it again to make sure I've included almost everything in it that I possibly could so that one can go there okay and let's see here's a blank ticket she can alter that or um, Let's see, do I have a dime in there? Yes, I do. She can put um, whatever she'd like on there. Make that her own um, interpretation. There's some more tickets there. There's one of those old um, cigarette cards, tea cards. And let's see, these are some old vintage little padded um, ornaments in red and brown. And what else did I put? Okay, a lot of buttons. And there's one of those cloth red ones. I um, posted that in another kit. Um, and so it's vintage. It's a, a shank button. All right. And there's a wooden um, flower floral there. I'm going to show you that dangle in a second. And then there's just a host of, of other little beads. And there's some clips. I got those in a haul recently. And there's another clip there. And one of those old vintage um, pens. And some bulb pens. Can you guys see that? I hope so. These little things seem so insignificant, but man, I imagine when you're making a journal, they're really important. <laughs> There's some brads. That one's got a little star on it, and that's a um, plain brad. There's a button. And then this cute little dangle. Wait, let me show you these first. And there's a butterfly. I put a, a brass butterfly in there. Okay, and this sweet dangle came from... Um, the lady I've told you um, who makes very cute uh, dangles and book charms, Jim to the Eye on Etsy. And those are just adorable. And I've had this one for a while and wanted to put it in this kit. And you can alter it or change it around, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so there's that. Love her dangles. They are so fun and they're so light. They're just light in weight. Okay, let's see. Oh, and before I move on, a couple of things. Um, I put in some of my beads that are just really, really special in terms of their uh, material. Um, these are just great. Some of them um, are just beautiful in their texture. And um, the ones I think are really, really prized are this one this one this one and these two little here and that one and so those are really fun um these have inspired me to make a bohemian um, journaling kit later when i'm caught up with everything um so there's that and then she's got some wire ribbon and again, you can cut, I saw somebody cut the wire off and make this into pockets. This is Christmassy, but it's also sort of rustic. And it's got that kind of yellowy green gold um, with hints of, you know, sort of a dark um, brown in there. So she's got that. And then she's got some sheer polka dot because nothing says surprise in a junk journal than having something that uh, you wouldn't ordinarily expect. And there's quite a bit of that, and I've tied it with um, some floss to keep it um, tamed. <laughs> uh, here uh, is some floss in three different colors, brown, red, and gold. This is really good for sewing your signatures in. Um, oh my gosh, who did I see recently make tabs with it? I can't remember. Somebody made... Um, took some of this and clipped it and Sagita <laughs> there's a couple of people that no matter what or how far behind I am that I have to watch their videos and she's one of them and I I think it was Sagita today yesterday today I think it was that I saw her make a um, paper clip with uh, cut uh, floss 
This is also good if you're sewing right onto your page. And obviously it's good if you're an embroidery stitcher or seamstress or whatever you call it. Okay, here is some vintage uh, gingham and cream tied off with some brown floss. And here is some fancy schmancy <laughs> um, dangly stuff. And um, I put in this, um, let's see guys, oh, that's my mom texting me, she has to wait. Um, I put in this, um, oh, cork on here because of the little pin, so that's just some cork there. But that's really pretty and noisy and very, very fall season color. And... There's some more floss, organza. I'm not, sorry, not floss, um, ribbon. And so is this one. I love this one. This one is so pretty. There's a lot of that in there. That's really, really pretty. Okay. I tried to keep this kit, um, this was a pre-sale kit. And I tried to keep it very, very um, you know, stick to what it said in the hint and it was rustic. I think I called it rustic, um, rustic brown and red or something like that, but I tried to stick, stick to that whole theme. So this is pretty organza, but it's got the wire edging. You can kind of see how it bends there. And then I put in some red bur uh, burlap, of course. That's really pretty. There's quite a bit of it there. And I put in some brown. Um, or tan, I guess I should say, traditional burlap. Just got a whole roll of that. And that's pretty rustic and cool looking. This makes great pockets, a cover. You just, I don't know, you just have to be, I'm not a crafter, so I don't know how to tell you how to use that. You just have to watch a lot of videos um, because that kind of stuff is, is really um cool in in junk journals and then here is some rustic vintage uh fall season autumn season um wool and there's two skeins of it here unused one is in a soft kind of a rustic coral and this is in a very beautiful gold kind of twist and there is some sorry silk um, there is a wonderful young lady on Etsy who sells the sari silk. Um, her, her silk is just gorgeous. Um, it's called Pin and Hook. P-E-N-A-N-D-H-O-O-K all together. And she's on Etsy. And she makes beautiful, beautiful sari silk. It smells good when you receive it. There's an abundance of it. It's, it's great. I love, 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 love including um, this in my kits um, let's see I've got let me sit this stuff over here I got a lot of stuff going on here guys okay so here I put in some fabric pieces and I've been trying to get rid of some of this because I've had it for a while and there's no reason for me to <clears throat> to keep it and hoard it because that's not what my shop is about my Etsy store is about or my channel I love recycling any and everything I can find and get my fingertips on that junk journalists um, artists can use in their kits I mean in their uh, books and this this is not from you know this is just from my stash and that's very retro kind of 70s looking actually but it's pretty and here we have um here we go some of this and we have this nice rustic piece this is worn and has a lot of wear to it but it's still very very worthy of being put in a journal it's very thin, it's not thick, 
so it's got some pretty um, images on it there and I have this piece here this is this one has some patina on it and um, which I think is perfect for junk journal artists um, she can cut this up she can use even cut this part up and off and use that as trim um, this even though it has patina because this is antique it's not it's it has surpassed vintage it's antique um, but I think it's really pretty my mom's doll dresses has a lot of this kind of patina on it but it's clean it's been washed and then this here um, you guys have seen this before is a really nice piece of um, fabric and it's got some orange and yellow fall season florals and brown and this one almost looks the same as this but it's very different and it's a lot bigger this one is more of a mustard sort of a mustard um, olive green uh, burnt orange um, that kind of thing just gorgeous and it's pretty big I can't unfold all of it because you guys will never be able to see everything can you see that and so she'll get that as well I love this that makes great um, Amity Bloom tip-ins I think or some of the cool stuff that Val does in her books I mean it's, it's amazing um, the things that you do you guys do I also put in let me set this aside guys okay I also put in um, this pretty um, vintage um, embroidered hand embroidered piece it's got some you know um, little stains here and there but I think again this is worth salvaging and um, I think it's just you know screaming um, please art me up in your journals that's what I think and again I'm not a crafter but I imagine that that this is just dying to be arted up in somebody's book and it will be <laughs> in the buyer's book um, there's a, a ribbon there in a very beautiful dark maroon or that's kind of like a I don't know burgundy maroon I don't know it's just a very dark deep red it almost looks like um, I don't know like a, a dark almost like a blackberry and then there's some more of this fabric here and that's really pretty very fall season there's a lot of it there so she'll get that and then I put in this old vintage hanky and that's really pretty and she can stamp on that she can cut it up and make pockets with it she can use it as part of her a cover if she likes um, it's cream but it's got that yellowing that aged yellowing look to it it's been around for a while here is some um, wallpaper um, and I won't open this well why not I guess I should I just don't have the space to open everything there we go you can kind of see that you guys have seen this before I used it um, in several other kits um, but it's a very, very, very deep burgundy, um, very pretty and sort of a gold. So she can um, make tags with that or journaling spots. Um, I'm not sure how vinyl, I'm not an expert on how vinyl works um, with glues and things like that. But I haven't had anyone um, complain about that. And I've used it in kits before. Okay. Let's see, guys. Sorry, I keep reaching over. I'm trying to um, get done with my custom orders, but I'm very, very, very adamant about being, um, you know, investing time and quality into them so that they are full and packed and good um, for the buyer. So let me show you what I've got here. Um, this I put... Um, 
Okay, so here I put in some of that paper, the really big paper um, that my husband found. And it's craft. It's kind of like craft cardstock. So she's got a giant piece of that. And I'm going to speed it up here, guys, because I'm at 20 minutes. And I can't figure out yet um, how to get my videos merged since YouTube took away the that cool little... Um, element that they had component that they had that it had YouTube this is coffee dyed so I'm trying to keep this video under 33 minutes so I gotta put a put a move on it um, and it's kind of grungy but it's also got some really cool transfer images there and there's some pretty card stock that's been coffee dyed it doesn't smell like coffee though and this is all heavyweight paper so she can even make uh, use this to make a cover with that's how heavy it is and there's some pretty rustic coffee dye papers these are tea dyed I think and those have some nice transfers and remember, this is a rustic kit, so, oops, I'm dropping some of these, these little bitty ones. They just want to fall out of my hand. These are, they're pink on pink paper. These are not avocado dyed. They are coffee dyed on pink copy paper. And there's some pretty dramatic, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coffee dyeing there. These are old coffee dyed pieces. There's some red because nothing says uh, rustic fall season without a little touch of hot red in it. And some pattern paper. And oranges and yellows. And there's some cute little turkeys. <laughs> and there's some... Now this color is almost like a gold kind of a... Um, what is it called? Moonlight Mice which is corn um, most of you know that I don't know why I'm saying that like as if I need to translate anything because Lord knows I am not a thousand percent <laughs> um, yeah it says moonlight mice enchanted compliments I love this color and you probably can't see but it's a beautiful fall gold with some leaf um, you know imprints on there and there's some beautiful gold there you probably can't see how pretty that is because my camera's not going to do it um, yeah you can't see that guys my camera won't let it but it's beautiful and then there's some brown and this comes out of the new um, haul that I got I had plenty of, of um, pattern paper from other hauls that I got leftover pattern paper I should say um, but I just like these colors and that's almost like a sienna brown and there's some brown and red and then there's a beautiful sunflower for that one okay let me speed it up here guys because I'm gonna be in so much trouble whoops okay so I also have there's just so much here I can't I can't I can't keep up with everything my hands won't let me hold everything okay so I had I only had one sheet of this this um um oh my god it's not holly a uh, poinsettia i think that is what that is and i just had to put it in here for her it's beautiful this page is thick um hard stocky if she's doing a christmas um tn that would be beautiful here are some vintage book pages and these are card stocky book pages and here are some music pages here and um, these are um, perforated. They still have their, um, you know, their thing, thing majiggies on the side. Connectors there. You guys know what I mean. Here's some rustic. I love this. Oh, my God. I would love this desk. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? Of course, you know, you could look at that. These, I don't know, guys, burlap sacks. I have a ton of burlap um, sacks that come from 
Central America and everywhere actually rice sacks um, they have a lot of oats and grains and things in them and they just don't do very well in my Etsy store but people make purses with those and pillows and they're just great and there's some paper there and some um, if she doesn't like uh, the book I've chosen books I've chosen um, she can use this or the cardstock there's some more wallpaper and that's really pretty I had to put clips on the side just to keep it sort of tamed <laughs> but it's got some beautiful red florals some yellow paper some birds and these come from this is an image I don't know maybe I've given up the original maybe not but I scanned that and I thought the birds were just gorgeous and looked very 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 fall season the owls I'm gonna make a bird kit pretty soon too but I'm not gonna talk about what kits I have coming up because I'll get myself I'll get my hiney in trouble <laughs> I can't I, Oh, I have so many ideas and so much stuff. Um, here's some pretty music papers here. And there's some pretty same paper that's thick and hard stocky. And there's a larger um, one of these envelopes, clasp envelopes. These are really easy for me to find, guys. They, they I don't know why, they just are. Um... I can find like really really thick stacks of these for cheap and sometimes I don't buy them all you know like the whole box of them I just leave them there they're really cheap um, here in some of the thrift stores where I shop that's some black um, file folder parchment paper okay I gotta hurry now these look the same but they're two different parchment paper pieces this is more of a yeah, I don't need to explain that. You guys know. Um, parchment linen paper. Love this parchment paper. I'm almost out of it. Almost out of that one. A red envelope. Because what's a rustic red kit without, you know, red? And, and I call this paper filler paper. These last few sheets, they are contemporary, not vintage. Um, and they're filler papers. Okay. God, guys how can I do this everything's going everywhere okay so I still have children's writing paper can you guys see that I hope so okay 27 minutes ah! okay there's some flowers and some rustic red religious scenes there's a Christmas calendar 1975 rustic magazine pages my mom gives me a lot of her beautiful expensive magazine pages those anyway that's another whole story but i love that i can recycle them music paper different size this is hand painted paper from mexico mexico and here is some more florals from one of the books that i hauled and showed the other day beautiful beautiful pumpkins and uh, fall season florals construction ledger that's a big piece of ledger paper I forgot to show that in my haul scan magazine rustic red and brown very beautiful shabby rustic brown love that and there's um, one of those pillows um, I was talking about that's a beautiful scene a very pumpkin fall scene um, little pumpkins there rustic invoices in white and yellow there's one of the stamp sheets right there I have a whole book of that um, and I just ripped out one of the United States um, stamp pages for her this is great for collage artists I never know a uh, vintage dictionary what artists do with my kids because I don't um, ask and I'm not interested if they tell me that's great but I never ask I'm not interested in um, questioning artists what they do once the kit leaves the post office it belongs to the artist 
This is an old vintage plate. This plate here, it's seriously old. There's a Martha Stewart. Some more uh, music paper and a different perforated popcorn. Guys, I'm going to get cut off again. I don't want to. I'm going to download a new. Um, there's more of that um, Mexico yellow and brown rustic paper. Hand dyed, hand painted. Um, download a new uh, video editing software so that I can keep going. Um, I'm trying to get find a, figure out a way still. I'm forever trying to figure out a way. These are napkins, by the way how to shorten my videos but I think it's going to get better when I start making these kits a lot smaller that's my goal so those are all napkins ex libre vintage paper from a, a Reader's Digest book <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> there's some envelopes there rustic isn't that cute her outfit and his suit are just perfect for this kit, and so is that. And that's from the haul I showed. Old vintage game pieces. Old yellowed envelope. Very important. A popcorn bag in a different style. Guest checks. And security envelopes. More guest checks. Um, a leaf. And that, of course, is inspired by Gibbet and Nick the Booksmith and all the ladies who add real, live, natural nature to their journals. And there's a vintage brown index. And vintage, vintage, vintage cards. <clears throat> Coffee dyed envelopes. Rustic. Remember, this is a rustic fall season kit. Now that's my dog barking. You can tell a basset hound from every other dog. <laughs> he still got his little man parts too, which makes us very happy. The veterinarian said, oh, you guys may consider cutting off his man parts. Or he didn't call it that. You know, he just was very blunt. And um, we we're like, why would we do that? I mean, because dogs, you know, don't they, weren't they, isn't that how they're born? And um, we've never, ever considered that. But there are some issues, I think, with hormones and stuff like that for our Basset Hound. The pure one, because he, um, it makes their, their tails, like, um, swollen. But he's, he's so, he's just great. We just love him. He's so spoiled. Oh, my God, guys. My husband... I don't I just don't know what would happen if anything happened to that dog my husband would go nuts but um, this is a very old old vintage card and it's got and I think my phone's gonna go over two minutes or two videos darn it it's still got the inscript there and if you've ever watched my videos from the distant past um, you'll know that these came from an old find from a long time ago and this person always signed it red which is really cool so there's that hang on guys let me pause here for a second okay I think this is definitely going to go into two videos but I think I will be able to um, divide them up I hope so or merge them not divide them but merge them anyway here's some Thanksgiving praise music papers And these are just kind of grunged up. A general Thanksgiving. Very pretty. There's two papers there. Or two little slots of papers there. Okay. And then I've got some fall season flowers. There. And there's some corn and apples and just beautiful fall season papers. All right. I'm just going to fly through this, guys. These are dried flowers. If you have questions, you can just ask me. I love explaining all of this stuff. Um, 
but it does take a long time and my videos tend to drag on and on and on <clears throat> chestnuts look at those aren't those neat and okay what else this is some of my mom's magazine and there's the nutcracker that's an old uh, vintage flash card some orange time cards this is a piece from before i forget from my uh, great auntie's estate <clears throat> I don't have very much of it left, but um, this is some of the old ribbon, and um, some of my gifts were, when I was a kid, like a very young kid, were wrapped in this kind of stuff, and I threw away a whole box of it. Um, some of it was just so old that it was so yellowed and sticky, and um, but yeah, that's in there too, just in case. This is not a Christmas kit. It's a rustic red kit. There's some stationery. Love this piece. Isn't that cool? Orange and black stripes. There's a piece of my great grandfather's um, receipt from paying his and my great grandmother's bill. And that's, you know, that's really rust rusty right there. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, move it, move it, move it on, Renee. Okay, then let's see. I've got some envelopes in here because those are important. You guys know that. I know that. And I'm not even a crafter. There's a fox. Um, this is called, I said on one video, I think, I wasn't sure what this is, but it's just paper ribbon. I think I put some green in here or maybe it's another kit. I'm not sure. Um, and then I put some of these saver books in here though. That one's empty. It's in beautiful condition with no, um, you know, creases or anything, but there's a vintage page there with some stamps on it. And then this, um, I put in here, I made this tag with, uh, one of my mom's magazine images <clears throat> and I put a grommet there. And it's backed with some of my coffee dyed index cards. But I thought it looked rustic and pretty cool. And I put two um, cards in here of my coffee dyed index cards with some images. So she can either decide to um, put these down, slap these down on there and put grommets or um, whatever she'd like to do with them. But these magazine images are so worthy. Um, they, they just, they're beautiful. And then these are from my great auntie's estate. Those are very fall season images. My great aunt would read the daily word and this kind of stuff um, all the time in the mornings um, sometimes. And then this is a specimen vintage thing. Um, an orange envelope because those are important even for a rustic red kit. And there's some rustic red mon uh, money. Rustic red and brown. That's a vintage um, card. That says best wishes for a speedy recovery, but you can easily washi tape over that. This came from the beautiful, sweet um, friend of mine, a true friend, um, Sonia. And that's a beautiful postcard there. And I think, um, yeah, that's just gorgeous. Now, let me make sure, guys, maybe this came from Val. It doesn't matter who, you know, from which one of the ladies sent, sent it to me. Because I think Sonia's, um, hers tend to come in a different language. It's a possibility. Maybe this is from Val. And my words are just the same. Um, those ladies just, they're, they're wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful souls. Um, and I love them both very dearly. Um, there's some pink tiny little envelopes. I've never had such support. And there's um, that and that. A bingo card. Coca-Cola card. These are playing cards. Oh lord, 40 minutes. Okay. These are all old, old, old playing cards and oranges and reds and rustic. And there's a buck. Love that. I don't know if this is vintage, but I, I love that. And there's some Monopoly pieces. And I put a Tim Holtz. I'm so stingy with those. Love those. 
clip right there. Some money. Um, what did I put? Okay. Let's see. More money. Red. Some more deer. Rustic. Um, there's a, a snow scene. And vintage game pieces. Cards. Love these. I forgot to show these earlier. These are... Um, Vintage pieces of rickrack and yellow red and this brown pretty um, lace that you won't be able to see because Can't see it with my finger, right? You need something like this You guys know what this is right there you go. That's better and um, The same is with this. This is black. This is kind of a muted um, green and there's some brown some stamps, more money, a vintage bread card, some tags that she can make um, whatever into whatever she'd like, um, some bias tape, don't forget to save the packaging for a sewing kit, and this is in brown, so she can use a lot of that for tabs. There's some orange money and game pieces that I have way too much of. That's going to into some racks. That kind of stuff is soon. I put some letters in here for fall season. And some more stamps and a different kind. And then I put these little uh, tie uh, pieces in here because I made this um, tablet. And she doesn't have to use it, but I thought it was kind of cool. And I just put my um, coffee dyed paper, avocado dyed paper, coffee dyed and I didn't put any tea paper in here, but it's rustic, it's yellow, and a grungy pink. And, um, I don't know. I thought she could probably use it. And I just punched two holes and stuck one of these. I have a whole box of these things, red. So she might be able to play with that. There are some glassine bags and envelopes. These are so cute. And I think I had some cards. Oh, that, that's why. I wasn't trying to spell Christmas. Those are pretty. Those pro cards. Those are from the 60s. That's red, gold, green. And there are the last parts. Um, some recipe cards. The gold. What do you call those? Gold medal. Every time I see these, I think of Candy. Hi, Candy. I hope you're watching. <laughs> She's the, she kind of sparked all of this. It's her fault. <laughs> she sparked a lot of this. Um, and there are some pumpkins. And um, there's some images from my mom's magazine. That's really cool, guys. Look at those um, old toys. And again, I put enough coffee dyed paper in here to where she can back um, these magazine images with some... Um, coffee dyed paper and turn those into this is old vintage book page turn those into writing spots or journaling spots that's a 1982 card and then I uh, took a piece a scrap piece of that parchment paper and just stamped the front and she can turn that into a card and I put a gold clip on it now for her book this is the last part guys oh wait sorry no it's not there's one of those one of my great aunties um, ephemera pieces where her and my uncle pay their bills diligently every month. They were very, very, very uh, responsible people. And then there are some vintage um, cards uh, in sort of reds and golds and gray and brown. And there's another cigarette card or tea card or tea card. Cigarette tea card, I can't remember. It, you, you guys know what it is. Everybody's using those right now, which I absolutely love. Um, there's that, and there's a fox. That's old. Um, I don't know what year, but it's very yellow. It has a lot of patina on it, and he's a fox. And he's Jay Worthington Foul Feather. <laughs> and there's some more of those. Finally, for her books, um, I we'll send uh likely two of these and it's between this one because i think it's a very pretty rustic red brown it's old it's from the 19 i should have wrote it down anyway it's old i think this is from the 
40s, I want to say. Um, here's a Reader's Digest book. I may send, I'm definitely sending this one with just, just like this so she can cut these old um, pieces. This is the problem with some of the older Reader's Digest books is that the spine cracks everybody knows that um, and so or most people do so be careful when you buy these some of the 1970s and 60s ones are 1970 and 81s um, tend to be a little bit more sturdy so but 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 this cover here and this cover here are perfect um, to make a journal and you can rebuild these spines if you watch uh, Debbie Ann at Ephemera's Vintage Garden I think I'm certain I've said it a thousand times before I think she has a video where that talks about rebuilding a spine I think um, so she'll probably get she'll definitely get that that one and then here's this one and this one is in Spanish so I don't know how she'll feel about that but it's old it's a really big book um, it's from the 1970s it's yellowed it's in very sturdy condition and shape um, it measures let's see quickly uh, six and a half by uh, nine and three four it's a big book so there's that one or this one and I'm not sure for a fall season book what this is five and a half by eight and a half so I think I will probably go with these two just because um, the smaller sizes tend to be I don't know more trendier than the larger ones but I know there's a lot of lady that use big books too so I'll hold on to this one and send these two unless she um, you know uh, sees the video and requests otherwise or you know how however um, but I'll, I'll likely just send it like that okay bye everybody have a beautiful night day evening wherever you are in the world and I will be back with some more goodness I have two more custom orders to film <laughs>